Hello, this is a review on the Toy Story Collection Bucket of Soldiers. I've had this for a couple of years now. Finally decided to do a review. It does have aging on it. Like I'll show you the lid. The lid looks exactly like it did in the movie. You'll notice that there's basically a stain there. It's kind of like messed up there. But only because I've played with it a lot and it's been moved around a lot. Besides, these don't come with it, but I've added accessories like from other army stuff, like an army boat. Some of these little figures, which aren't don't come with it at all. Be note disclaimer: the boat and some of these and the next accessories I show you do not come with this. I just bought these separately to add in. Here is a tank added in. Plane I added in. Another tank I added in. Helicopter added in. Here are these. Army Man I added in. These are special along with the next one I'm going to show you. And this one. These aren't as special as this one, but these are from when I went to Mr. Gaddy's with my cousins for her birthday. I got these as one of the prizes and really happy I did. Cause that's a fun memory, but this one's the most special. This one's given to me my, by my great grandparents before they passed away. So this one has a lot of sentimental value, so I put it in there with them, so it's in a safe place where I can find it. This isn't an army man at all. It's Nigel Uno from the codename Kids Next Door, the K and D. My sister got me this as a present. Next on the bucket soldiers themselves. Oh yeah, there's this one. That's not part of it, but the rest are... I got one army man. Two army men. And our disclaimer. There was a playset which had Lenny the binoculars and a map in it. There, That's where these two paratroopers are from, but... The other two aren't, but I just thought I'd show you them. Yeah, you could get more paratroopers, which was nice. Here are the paratroopers from mine. Which I'll start by showing you one, because the other one is just a different pose, but the same thing. Here is the army man himself. And here's the flag. I mean the, par the parachute, which looks exactly the same, which you just drop him in. And then get on camera there. See if we can drop in the bucket. I thought, oh, he landed in the bucket, but his parachute did it. The fold up his parachute, it's simply like that. I'm going to put him back in because I really don't want to lose this one. The other one, same basic thing, but different pose. Another thing to point out is that these are made of a diff not the hard plastic, but of a rubbery plastic. I guess for safety reasons. In case you're wondering what the one from that Lenny and Binoculars set looks like, you know, the ones from there are a little more accurate because they're transparent. See if I can get this one with this parachute to fall into the... Nope. Worth a shot. Same one with this one that came with the Linnean binoculars. But the rest of these are from the Toy Story collection bucket that you get, along with those paratroopers I showed you before. Nice have accessories to go with your army. Here's one with a bazooka. I'll try to show you each individual type of figure in an individual pose, and so I can keep track. I'll put it there. Here's one where he's on the ground shooting. Pretty nice. One shooting up in the air, I guess. Impressive detailing. You got that little circle in the back. Sadly though, you don't get a medical aid army, but I guess you could custom make one if you could write that tiny. 
So this one has a circle on the back of his head. Like the little extra pieces of plastic. These are made of good quality plastic. Good army men to play with. Especially since they look exactly like the ones from Toy Story. Here is one scanning for bombs in the ground. I do play with these. Here's one ready loading up a missile into the cannon and BOOM! Strawberry shortcake land is destroyed. Right down these, right down these, right down these. Here's one with a gun pose. Bam, 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 bam. This one we already did with the binoculars. This one we already did. This one we already did. This one we already did. Here's one with the gun and binoculars. I think this is the guy in charge. Bang, 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 bang. Like I said, impressive detailing. It's hard to catch with my camera. My camera pretty much stinks. This is the computer com camera. I used to have a good camera, but I don't anymore. No. Do I have this one shown yet? No. Here's one on standby with his gun. Pretty nice. I guess you take one of these and put a plus on him to make a medical aid army man. Now let's continue to look what other different ones are. I've already covered them all and I don't know yet. Forgive me if I don't know that because I'm kind of stupid. At least that's why I think I'm kind of stupid. I think I'd be smart at times. Here's one we haven't covered yet. One carrying his gun like up like that like he's going to attack someone. Cha 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 cha. Knock someone out, or cut, it, or maybe moving stuff around his way with his gun. I guess. You can see the army, and then you can see the lines going pretty long from right here. Let's see. I already did that one. Already did that one. Already did that one. Oh, we got that one. What do I sure get all of them? Yeah, I pretty much done all of them. Holy crap, I extended this video long. Me, me and my ladies, me and not preparing beforehand. Really, let's just be a lesson. Prepare for beforehand. Before we go, here's a comparison size to him, the army men and Woody, which I think is a good size. Thanks for watching my video and please like, subscribe and comment and have a great day.